In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create a colorful logo and text transition. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, we got a quick tutorial today, and it is a combination of our last two tutorials, but it's a little bit more non-destructive and a little bit quicker to do, especially if you are on a time crunch. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have a comp with a background and some text, and of course this can just be your logo. It doesn't really matter, uh, but whatever you want to have this cool transition on, make sure it is selected in the layers down here, which is my text, and make sure you go up to layer and pre-compose it, and we can call this one just placeholder and click OK and now we'll be able to replace this with whatever we want in the future. The first thing we're going to do to get this animation going is grab the rectangle tool and we're just going to draw out like a big box you know right over the entire composition just like this and then we're going to hit P on our keyboard to bring up position and we're going to add a keyframe for that and we're going to move forward maybe by like two seconds or something and we're just going to X position this off all the way to the side here and you want to make sure that this box covers the entire composition because if you change your text or you maybe add a logo in there later uh, it will the transition will take complete form of whatever object you're using so with this said and done, let's go ahead and toggle switches and modes and let's go to the track mat and let's set this to alpha inverted mat and this way we'll see that the text reveals on based on our animated box here and let's just go ahead and select our shape layer and rename it to box and let's go up to effect, stylize and we're going to add the rough and edges effect if you've been watching my past tutorials you'll see that I've been using this effect a lot but it's really awesome for what we're doing so let's increase the border by a lot, maybe like 200 border and increase the scale by like you know 400 ish there and of course let's increase the uh, edge sharpness to probably about five um, and this way we'll kind of get some of that actual like liquid motion in there it's kind of random and I guess jagged in a way and let's make sure we're at the beginning of our timeline and let's add a keyframe for evolution and let's go to the end of our animation which is basically like, basically like two seconds three seconds um, but I'm gonna go to five seconds here just to be safe and I want to set this to 2x and we'll just have like a little bit of, you know, uh, random animation in there. So it's not, you know, completely consistent. And we've now just created the effect here. And what we can do is we can make sure the placeholder is selected and go up to effect, generate, fill. And we can start maybe changing the color. So we can do like as many of these as we want. But for this color, I'm going to make it like, you know, yellow. Click OK. And then maybe we'll select both our layers here. And let's maybe just color code them so we don't get them confused. So I set it to green maybe. And then make sure both these layers are selected and go up to edit, duplicate. And maybe just offset this by a few frames. You know, I did think five frames there. And then maybe we can go back to our new placeholder here, change the color of this yellow to like, you know, maybe like a lighter blue or something. And this way, if we scrub through here, now we get two colors. And then let's duplicate this once more. Uh, offset them by a few frames and then we can change the color of this back to white or whatever you know primary color of your texture logo you want to have and now we kind of have that effect and what's cool about this is now we can probably go into these individual boxes here and you know adjust these settings a little bit like the border settings and bring down the scale so it's not completely you know consistent and we're getting a little bit of randomness and it doesn't really matter just go ahead and mess with the uh, border and scale and let's go back to down to our bottom box down here and one effect I probably forgot to add it doesn't make much of a difference but distort and add turbulent displace and just as another random variable in there I don't really suggest you know messing with this too much because it can get kind of crazy but you can experiment with it just another parameter in there if you really want to have it in there just go ahead and copy it and paste it to each of your boxes but it's not really required for this effect so I want to add one more effect that I really like so go to your uh, bottom placeholder here and go up to effect matte and let's add the simple choker effect and let's increase that to like you know maybe 20 ish there have it on 17 and this way uh, we can maybe just copy it and go back to our middle placeholder here paste it maybe bring this one down to like 10 and this way we'll kind of have it like you know each of these layers are bigger than the other ones so it'll kind of look like it's being like engulfed in this uh you know color so you know it's pretty cool maybe we can bring this down just by a little bit more and you know that looks pretty awesome so now we can go into our placeholder and we can maybe drag in our logo and turn off the text maybe scale down our logo by a touch 
and we go back into our comp here, you'll see that it'll automatically you know, switch out and have that you know, animation. So that's how you can do this effect very quickly. It wasn't difficult at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.